Hello boys and girls, welcome back for another story time today, and uh, we've got an interesting and a great story today. Uh, last week, uh, a couple weeks ago now, we've been talking about the Israelites. They've been slaves down in the land of Egypt. They've had to work really hard. And who did God send to rescue them from down in Egypt? Do you remember? That's right, it was Moses. And in this picture, we see Moses. And who is standing with Moses there? That's right, it's his brother Aaron. Moses and Aaron went to tell the king. Do you remember the king's name? That's right, Pharaoh. They told Pharaoh what God said. Let my people go. Let God's people go. But what did Pharaoh say? Yes, he said, no way, they're not going to go anywhere. They're just lazy. And so then some very bad things happened in Egypt. Do you remember what some of them were? That's right, the water turned into blood, and they had sores all over their body. And what got into their beds and all through their homes? Yes, a bunch of frogs. And then there was darkness for three days, and all of their animals died, and lots and lots of bad things. But then last week, we learned that there was one last plague, one last bad thing that happened. And, and what was that? Yes, the oldest child in each family died. But God told his people what they could do to protect themselves. What did they have to do? Yes, they had to put blood on the top of their door frames and on the side of their doors. And the blood came from what? Yes, it came from a lamb. They had to kill the lamb and put the blood. And God said, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And so all the Israelites who put the blood over their doors were safe. But all of the Egyptians who didn't do that, the oldest son in each family died that night. Even the family of Pharaoh, his oldest son, died. And so what did Pharaoh finally say? Yeah, he finally said, go, get out of here. We don't want any more of those bad things to happen. And so that night and all the next day, the people left Egypt, and here they are walking out. We call that the Exodus. They left. That's what the word Exodus means. They left Egypt and they are so happy. They're so excited to finally be free. They're not going to be slaves anymore. God was rescuing his people. But not long after they left, a few days later, they came up to the edge of a great big huge, uh, like an ocean. It was a big sea. And uh, they didn't have any boats. And there weren't any, there weren't any bridges that they could cross over. And then they looked around behind them. And here came Pharaoh and his army. He had changed his mind. He wanted them back as his slaves. And so here was this water in front of them. And then behind them was an army and they were trapped. And so they, were, they didn't know what to do. But, but God told Moses, tell the people to stand still. And so they did. And God came. And when Moses raised his staff up into the air the water split apart and it stood up on each side. There was a wall of water and they walked right down through the middle where the water separated and they crossed the sea on dry land. They crossed from one side to the other and, and they didn't have to worry about the water. They could look over and the, the water was like a wall on each side of them, but the Israelites were safe. God kept them safe. And then after they got all the way through, the Egyptians decided they were going to come in after them. And so the army comes charging into the, in, into the sea where, where the water had been separated. And then Moses put his arms back down, and guess what happened? The water came back together, and all of the Egyptian soldiers drowned. You can see them there. And God's people were safe. They didn't have to worry anymore. They were safe on the other side. God was taking care of his people. There's one other thing that I wanted to tell you, and that is that God led his people and he kept them safe. During the day, he led them with a, with a bunch of cloud. It was like a, a cloud standing up that went in front of them. And then at night, 
it was like a, a, a pillar of fire. It was like fire standing up and they would follow the fire at night and they would follow the cloud in the day. And God showed them where to go that way. And so God saved his people uh, from the Egyptians. Do you remember uh, what this was called when they all got to leave? Yes, it was the Exodus. And I forgot to review when, when God saved his children, uh, all of the people, that was, what was that called? The Passover. That's right. And so the people left in the Exodus, and they went out. Were they happy or sad? Yes, they were very happy. And how did God lead them? Yeah, he led them with a cloud by day, and what did it become at night? Yeah, it became a fire at night, and so God led them. But then they came up to the edge of what? Yeah, they came up to the edge of all this water that was really deep, like an ocean. It's called the Red Sea. Can you say Red Sea? And, and they were scared because who came up behind them? Yes, Pharaoh's army came up, and so they cried out to God. And when Moses raised his staff up, what happened to the water? It separated, that's right, and they went right through the middle on dry ground. And when they got to the other side, all of God's people were safe. You could see them there. But what happened to the Egyptian soldiers when they decided to come after the Israelites? Yeah, the water came back together and all of them drowned. But God had kept his people safe. And that's good for us to remember today. A story about how God saves us. The memory verse today is about what God did. Let me say it, and then you say it. The Israelites went through the sea on dry ground with a wall of water on their right and on their left. Exodus 14, 22. Good job. Let's pray today and thank God for taking care of his people and for taking care of us. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this day and for the sunshine and for the snow and for our teachers and for school. Thank you for our parents. Thank you for taking care of your people. Thank you for taking care of us. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, thanks for joining us today, boys and girls. We'll be back again next week to find out what God did next while the people were on their way to a special place God had promised them. See you next time. God bless.